Ben Rhodes was President Obama's deputy national security advisor. He served in the White House for Barack Obama's entire presidency. He was known to be very close to the president. He worked on some of the most consequential foreign policy decisions of the Obama presidency. He led back-channel negotiations with Cuba. He worked on the Osama bin Laden raid. When the Obama White House began secret discussions about a potential nuclear deal with Iran for them to curtail their nuclear program, Ben Rhodes was one of the few people on the inside uh, working those negotiations from the American side. President Obama, of course, signed that agreement in Vienna in July 2015, a historic achievement, taking a nuclear Iran off the table for the foreseeable future. Since President Trump took the United States out of that Iran deal unilaterally, since he started to undo all of that work as fast as he could, Ben Rhodes, now a former government official, um, has spoken out, saying the president has created a destabilizing situation for the Middle East and for the world. Um, with today's news of uh, Iran shooting down a drone, a U.S. drone uh, near the Strait of Hormuz, with the president now openly flirting with a potential war with Iran, um, honestly, Ben Rhodes is the brain I want to hear from on this right now, joining us now. Uh, ben Rhodes, Deputy National Security Advisor under President Obama. Ben, thanks for being here. Thanks, Rachel. What is your 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 top level take on how serious the situation is with Iran right now today after these reports about this drone shootdown? Unfortunately, I think it's incredibly serious. And Rachel, like you said, this was very predictable, right? When Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear agreement, since then all he has done is stack provocation on provocation from us, more sanctions, designating the Iranian Revolutionary Guard as a terrorist organization which his own administration, the Defense Department reportedly, didn't want him to do because they thought that Iran would hit back in some fashion. The threats uh, emanate from him and Bolton towards Iran. And so what ends up happening is the cumulative effect of those threats pushes the Iranians to respond in kind. And now what we're seeing potentially with the fires on the tankers and with the shoot down of this drone is the Iranian hardliners saying, we've taken enough and we're going to begin to push back. And you saw that with the announcement that they're going to start reaccumulating stockpile of nuclear material. So the dangerous moment we're in, Rachel, is the Trump administration is escalating, and now the Iranians are escalating. And we're counting on those two actors to find an off-ramp. Yeah. Uh, and that's a very destabilizing moment. I feel like